to edit a song that you want to use in Audacity, you first have to have an MP3 file that you want to use. So I'm going to click under File Open here. Um, the music that we have licensing to is going to be on our template directory in Web Development. There's an audio folder and then there's varieties here. I'm just going to go to Modern and I'm going to go ahead and select this 90s rock. When I go ahead and open that up, it's going to open it up in Audacity and it's going to be on my timeline. Right here, these are the, how long the seconds or how long the song is going to be. So when that shows up, I can tell that this is going to be like 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Um, so if I wanted to put this, to, let's say for example, in my um, movie maker and my audio, or excuse me, my movie was three minutes long, I might have to put a couple of different clips in to get this to work. So let's say it's less than three minutes, let's say it's an hour and, or excuse me, a minute and 20 seconds, I can see that this is too long. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to extend this timeline so I can see more increments of seconds. So if I just click the little zoom in button, you can see that I'm getting so I can see more of the timeline here. I want to have this song to be a minute and 20. And so there's a minute and 20 right there. Everything beyond that I do not want. So I'm just going to highlight here, go all the way to the end. It's going to take me a while because I'm so zoomed in. I'm going to go all the way to the end with a highlight. Taking a little bit of time here. And I'm going to hit my delete key. And once again, I did I deleted before it was all done, but I want to get to a minute 20. So let's say I highlight there and get to the end and delete that out. Now, you'll notice my one of my problems with this is if I hit play, it's going to abruptly stop. It just stops there. And so I want that to fade out so it doesn't sound so abrupt. So I'm going to highlight about five seconds worth of the song. I'm going to go up here to Effect, say Fade Out, and it should fade it out so it doesn't sound as bad. I'm going to hit Play again. That sounds better, and that's the link that I need. So now all I have to do is I need to export it as an MB3. So I select that option there. I want to pay attention to where I'm saving this at. So you would go into your own personal folder, wherever you've got your Movie Maker project, and you can leave this name here as fine, and you can hit Save. And then it's going to create it as an MP3 file, and that's the file that you can import into Movie Maker.